Hey everybody, Derek here, here to bring another video for The Walking Dead, Season 7. And in this video, I'll be reviewing the latest episode of The Walking Dead, which was called The Other Side. If you are not caught up with The Walking Dead and you do not want to be spoiled in any way, then I suggest you exit the video now and come back later, because otherwise, you will be spoiled. Okay, so... Overall, I thought this episode was pretty good. I think that it really was more upbeat than what we usually see in the Hilltop episodes. Uh, the, the Hilltop episodes in Season 7 have not necessarily been the most exciting. However, I've seen that that building up of the tension between Gregory and the Alexandria group, particularly Maggie and Sasha, um, seeing how that has progressed, um, it really, really became a lot more heated in this episode, and I think that it really did a good job of uh, showing just the position that Gregory is in, as well as just showing how tense things really are. We also got to see Sasha and Rosita go on their mission, and I'll talk about how that turned out and what that might mean for the future. So... As I stated, two major plot lines in this episode, one of which was the hilltop, and then the other one was Sasha and Rosita going out on their mission to try to eliminate Negan. And I'm going to talk about the hilltop first. Uh, mainly what happened in the hilltop in this episode um, was the first couple uh, minutes of the episode was just a montage of everybody just going about their daily lives. You saw Maggie and Sasha visiting Glenn and Abraham's graves, seeing that they're still uh, going through a little bit of grieving as a result of their deaths. We saw Daryl um, really not really um, talking. Uh, it turned out that he had not been speaking to Maggie just because of the guilt that he felt over his role in Glenn's death. And we just saw other people going about their daily lives, doing whatever they needed to do. And then Rosita showed up and told Sasha that she needed her help, which um, was part of the discussion that they would go and try to kill Negan on their own since nobody else was doing anything. Well, they escaped when the saviors came because the, the big thing that happened here was the saviors came and Sasha had basically told Jesus and Enid that she was leaving. Both of them tried to convince her to stay, that she was needed, because earlier in the episode, they had been training the Hilltop people that were supportive of Maggie and Sasha to fight. So they were uh, trying to build up an army. They kind of were trying to persuade her that she was still needed, but Sasha felt like she needed to do this. So they left, and Maggie, Daryl, and Enid were not able to escape. They had dug a hole to actually go under the wall, but they were unable to get there, so they hid in the cellar. Now, the reason that the saviors were there, which it was the group that was led by Simon, was because, obviously, the two weeks ago we saw that um, Negan killed Dr. Carson, the, the sanctuary doctor, because he thought that he had let Daryl out. So... The sanctuary didn't have a doctor, but they knew that the hilltop did, Dr. Harlan. And it was revealed in this episode that, like in the comics, Harlan and Dr. Carson in the comic books were brothers. So that was revealed in this episode. So Simon comes in, you know, he goes up to his old pal Gregory and says, Hey, buddy, uh, we need something from you. We need your doctor. And they take Dr. Harlan back to the sanctuary. Now, it didn't exactly go very well. Um, now, Gregory did let um, the saviors do this, but Gregory was expressing some concerns to Simon that him doing this might put him in a very hard spot with his people. Obviously, Gregory has been noticing the turning of some of his people to Alexandria to fight against the saviors. That's not something that he wants to do. That's been established. It's been very clear. So Gregory really felt threatened by this, that this might really be the one thing that could turn his people against him, is that if he just lets the saviors come in and take people, that's going to cross a line. Supplies is one thing, but crossing over and taking people out of the community, that could definitely be devastating. Simon understood this, um, but he was still going to do what he was going to do. But 
you know, we saw that Gregory actually made a play with Simon to try to get closer to Negan, just to say, hey, listen, you know, you, you can tell Simon that I'm for this. I'm a big supporter. I want to move up in the world. You know, I want to be secure. He thinks that at this point, the saviors are his best way of staying in control, of being the leader of the hilltop. And he's probably right, you know, based on what he's been doing. So Simon actually gives Gregory directions to um, the sanctuary so that if anybody would ever try to go against him to try to plot and take him out or take over, all he would have to do is tell the saviors and they would come back. So we see that Gregory is just a big snake. You know, we've known this ever since the start, but he really uh, took a major step towards that. And it really does make you wonder if he will be responsible for bringing about some devastating things in the hilltop. Will he tell on them uh, that they're going to start a war, and is that going to be a problem? So I, I wouldn't be surprised if either at the end of Season 7 or maybe sometime in Season 8, we might see Gregory act on this, and he might um, turn to the Saviors to help him stay in power. I could absolutely see it happen. Um, but as I said, they do end up taking Dr. Harlan, and at this point, at the, like, at the end of the episode, Gregory is standing firm in his power, in a sense. You know, Jesus tried to come in and appeal to him, but Gregory wants nothing to do with it. He just uh, sent him away. So at this point, Gregory still feels like the man on top, but I think we're going to see that in the coming weeks and in season eight, he is going to have some opposition. A big thing in this episode that was really, really important was that Maggie and Daryl finally talked. And Maggie was able to convince Daryl that it was not his fault that Glenn died, that he's one of the greatest things that's still left in this world. Glenn thought that, and she needs him in order to fight. Because we saw that when they hid in the cellar, you know, obviously if the saviors found Daryl, they were going to kill him. So Daryl at times was acting in a very, you know, scared manner, possibly compromising their position almost at times because one of the saviors did go down in the cellar, but Maggie was able to keep him back was able to keep him focused, and I thought that was very important, and it was nice to see those two finally get a scene together to see how they were feeling. I thought it was a very, very important scene, and I really enjoyed it. So that happened in the hilltop. Now, moving on to Sasha and Rosita, um, they end up going off together to go to the sanctuary to kill Negan. They think that, hey, if we take him out, that's going to be a major step towards winning this war. They say, well, if the other group members aren't going to do it, we need to do it. Possibly even risking their own lives in the process. They recognize that uh, they could die, that they could get killed during this mission, but both of them are willing to do um, at least whatever it takes to do it. Now, there is a little bit of a hesitation as well as a difference between how they want to approach it because Rosita actually wanted to storm inside. She, If I remember clearly, she wanted to just go in there guns blazing and directly know that she would take Negan out, even if it meant getting killed. But Sasha more wanted to do like a sniper miss mission, you know. She wanted to shoot Negan from afar. That way they would have a better chance at least of getting away. You know, she wasn't really willing to get herself killed at that time. So we saw them have a little bit of a difference over that as well as just the differences that they have with each other over Abraham. Of course, we know that Rosita was with Abraham in a romantic sexual relationship, and we saw that Sasha kind of moved in, that Abraham had a little bit of a different uh, feeling. He wanted to be with Sasha, and we've seen that that's created a little bit of a, a, a rift between the two. Um, and it was really nice to see them talking with each other, because at first they were a little hostile, but then when they finally get to where they want to be, they had a plan of actually um, sniping Negan from a building that uh, was abandoned. We saw them open up to each other, and I think that was really, really important for them to do that. We've seen that, you know, that Rosita has really grown as a character, even back when, you know, she was uh, with survivors before even meeting Abraham. She admitted that 
She really didn't know a lot. She really wasn't the survivalist that we've seen her become, that she relied on men in particular to really help her in this world. And it was nice to see that she learned things, she became somebody better, because she was tired of being somebody that everybody else had to take care of. You know, we kind of have seen that with other characters, kind of like with... I think Gabriel, we've seen that. We've we've seen that with him. We've seen that now with Rosita. I think we saw that with Carol. I think that a lot of characters got to the point where they didn't want other people to feel sorry for them and feel like they were useless and feel like they needed to protect them, and they, they grew. And it was nice seeing Rosita open up about that. We saw Sasha opening up about how she felt, and you really saw the camaraderie between the two of them, and I really enjoyed seeing that that they were in a sense able to make up. Now, one of the things that we saw and they ended up seeing was that Eugene was following through with his plan from a few weeks ago to put, um, I think it was like hot cement or melted cement, whatever that is, or steel, something like that. But covering the walkers with that um, steel so that way it would be harder for them to kill or take out if somebody would try to storm the sanctuary as well as keeping the bodies together because eventually the walker bodies would rot out hence making the walker fence um you know pretty much useless to the saviors now they saw sasha and rosita saw that in a sense eugene was giving orders he was looking like he was somebody that was very important. So seeing Dr. Harlan coming in and then seeing Eugene in this position, Sasha and Rosita end up moving in early. They go up to the gate. Eugene is outside with another savior and Sasha and Rosita end up killing this savior. And they're saying, come on, Eugene, you know, they're going to rescue him. I mean, they were there. They were going to take him out. Eugene says, no, he says, I, I never asked to be rescued. I never asked for this. I'm not going. And I don't know what that was about. You know, I, I'm i really definitely confused right now as to Eugene's motives. I mean, number one, he's either, you know, going to perform some kind of a great rescue mission or he's completely brainwashed. I don't know which one it is. You know, I really don't know if he's really gone over to the savior side, if he's really that selfish. He thinks that he's better off there or you know, maybe he is doing something for the greater good. You know, we saw in that episode a few weeks ago that there are some people in the sanctuary that really are not evil people, if you will. I mean, they really are in bad circumstances. I think he kind of sees that with Negan's wives. I think that you kind of see that they're not necessarily bad people for what they did. And part of me wonders if Eugene sees that, and maybe when the time is right, he realizes that he might be in a position to work with some people and rescue them when the fighting's going on. Maybe, or maybe he really has betrayed the group. I'm not sure, but that's definitely something that shocked me in this episode. Now, the ending of the episode, Sasha and Rosita end up getting to the gate and they're trying to get it open and Sasha tells Rosita to get everything ready. She pries open the gate, but then she locks Rosita out in a sense. She doesn't let her come through. Sasha says, you're needed. People need you. Go back there. Help. I got this. And Rosita's just upset that Sasha would do this, that Sasha would go off on her own. But really, I think that Sasha made peace with herself. Um, you know, we kind of been seeing, we haven't seen a lot of her over uh, the course of season seven, but I think that really once she lost Abraham, I think that we've seen that with Sasha's character, it's always been about loss, sadly. She lost Bob, she lost Tyrese, now she's lost Abraham. And part of me wonders if maybe she's just tired of the loss, that maybe she felt like this was a time for her to do something great. I'm not sure, but it, it appears that she's willing to do whatever it takes to complete the mission, but she might get killed in the process because she ends up going with Rosita's plan of just cheap. She shoots a couple of the saviors, goes inside of the building, and that's the last we hear from her. We hear the gunfire. Rosita runs away, upset that Sasha would do this, and we don't know what happened. We don't know whether Sasha's alive. We don't know if she's dead. I'm going to predict more on that in another video looking at that, but... At this point, we have Sasha inside. Her status is unknown. And then Rosita was running away, and she sees a shadow of somebody holding a crossbow with long hair. Now, that could be one of two people. That could be Daryl, 
or that could be Dwight. Because earlier in the episode, Daryl asked Jesus where Sasha and Rosita went. And so we don't know if he went there to get them or maybe he's late. Maybe he's not there and it's Dwight. And maybe Dwight might see Rosita and God only knows then what might happen. So I'll be interested to see if that concludes itself in the next uh, week's episode. I can't believe there's only two more episodes left of season seven. But I feel like the season's really getting better. And I think that the season finale is probably going to be one of the strongest, most exciting episodes that we've ever seen. And I'm really looking forward to it. So with that, I'm going to bring this video to a close. I want to thank all of you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, don't be afraid to leave them. Feel free to subscribe. I do have more videos coming. And if you have any suggestions for future videos that you would like to see, don't be afraid to suggest them. Have a very wonderful evening, and thank you all very much for watching.